Wagonjwa kututumia dawa kama inavyohitajika ni moja wapo ya changamoto za kukabiliana na ugonjwa wa kifua kikuu nchini. Wagonjwa wanapaswa kutumia dawa kwa miezi sita lakini wengi hawakamilishi matibabu hayo. Lakini sasa teknolojia inayowasaidia wahudumu wa afya kufuatilia jinsi wagonjwa wanatumia dawa za kifua kikuu imezinduliwa nchini kama anavyotuarifu Emily Korir. Monica Wanjiko mwenye umri wa miaka hamsini mkazi wa Ndonyo eneo la Dagoreti jijini Nairobi anafika katika kituo cha afya cha Chandaria kwa matibabu ya kawaida. Monica alipatikana na ugonjwa wa kifua kikuu mwezi Disemba mwaka uliopita na anatarajiwa kutumia dawa hizo kwa miezi sita mfululizo. Nilikuwa na kinini kosa kamu ya kukura kushindwa na kupumua joto usiku ndio nikakuja hospitali kuja hospitali daktari akaniambia nipimiwe hiyo TB. Kupimiwa risota krisi kutoka hapo hapo nikatumwa x-ray. X-ray ndio ilitoa niko na hiyo pluroefusion. Joseph Kamau pia yuko hapa kwa matibabu ya kifua kikuu. Hii ni mara ya pili kutibiwa baada ya kuambukizwa ugonjwa huo mwaka wa 2010. Kenya kama mataifa mengine inanuia kumaliza ugonjwa wa kifua kikuu ifikapo mwaka wa 2035. Hata hivyo, juhudi za kufikia lengo hilo zimeathirika na kutokuwa na mbinu mwafaka ya kufuatilia matumizi ya dawa. Some of our patients get fatigue with taking their medication over that long period of time. And so one of the global interventions is actually to improve the adherence of TB patients. Kampuni ya Center for Solutions Health kwa ushirikiano na kaunti za Nairobi na Mombasa imezindua teknolojia kufuatilia jinsi wagonjwa wa TB wanavyotumia dawa. Teknolojia hiyo inatumia simu ya rununu kutuma ujumbe mfupi baada ya mgonjwa kumeza dawa yake. Nicodemus Ombuga afisa wa afya katika kituo cha afya cha Chandaria anaonyesha jinsi teknolojia hiyo inavyofanya kazi. Inanisaidia kwa sababu hata nikichelewa kidogo wanatuma message kuniuliza kama nimemeza madawa ukitumia hiyo message unakumbuka immediately mara moja ya kwamba kuna pale ambapo hujakanyaga zile steps ambazo zinafaa mfumo huu unatumia aina yoyote ya simu na hauhitaji mtandao wala fedha yoyote wahudumu wa afya wanatumia simu za kisasa kusajili wagonjwa na kufuatilia matumizi ya dawa we are able to provide patient centric uh, care because the patient works very closely with their health worker to identify the most suitable time when they can actually take their medication i notice that he has not sent a call i am required to call this patient find out why he has not sent the send the codes and if if it if it persists for 2 to 3 days 4 days then i know that this patient has got an issue and i need to strengthen and the rest of that patient Mratibu wa ugonjwa wa TB kaunti ya Nairobi Elizabeth Mweni anasema mwaka jana kaunti ya Nairobi ilikuwa na wagonjwa 1012165 wa kifua kikuu. Uh, those patients who refuse medication we used to go to the court and they they used to be sent to prison uh, just to take medication but due to human uh, right issues uh, clients that are refusing medication yes we have a right because uh, they are, they, are, they are going out and spreading tb uh, we are we are putting them in isolation facilities we also have... Teknolojia hii inatarajiwa kusambazwa katika hospitali zote za umma ili kuwafikia wagonjwa wengi zaidi. Emily Chabet ni pashe weekendi. Yeah.